What if the biggest difference between the 737 MAX and the A321neo is not performance, but the limits of the airframe itself? Because one aircraft is working at the edge of its design, and the other still has room to grow. The 737 MAX is a 1960s airframe pushed to its aerodynamic limits. Longer fuselage, heavier engines, tighter margins. Boeing squeezed everything it could from the platform, but physics eventually stops cooperating. The A321neo starts with a modern design, a high-efficiency wing, bigger fuel volume, better load distribution, and far more structural margin. That is why it carries more seats, more payload and flies further, but without feeling stretched. A 321 Neo LR and XLR dominate single aisle long haul because the airframe supports it. Modern wing, high efficiency, big tanks, long range aerodynamics. The Max cannot match it, not because it is bad, but because the original 737 design simply was not built for missions this long. So tell me, is the A321neo an overpowered narrowbody, or is the 737MAX boxed in by an airframe that has run out of room? Is this about ambition or about legacy limits? Which one is the true middle-of-the-market leader?